When creating new promotional materials, new displays, or any other kind of visual material for patrons, it is important to remember five main points in the creation and implementation. Color, contrast, size, layout, and placement. Let's start with color. Various studies and market research have found that there are certain colors that are more likely to grab a person's attention. Black, white, red, and yellow tested highest in attracting attention. Additionally, there are certain color combinations that are noted to grab a person's attention. These combinations include black on yellow, black on white, yellow on black, white on blue, yellow on blue, green on white, blue on yellow, and white on green. The idea of color combinations brings us to the second point, contrast. Contrast refers to the amount of light reflected by the colors of a letter and background. The amount of light reflected by the colors and background are important for readability. The idea is to have them contrast each other. So the letters should reflect a lot of light and the background will not. Or conversely, the background will reflect a lot of light and letters will not. Some examples from daily life include stop signs, which is white letters on red, yield signs, which is black letters on yellow, and highway signs, which are white letters on green. The third point to consider is size. When deciding on the size of the font, it is important to pick the font size that will be readable from the furthest distance that a patron is likely to read it. The following are examples of font size based on the furthest distance. At 8 feet, make 1 inch tall letters or 95 points font. At 16 feet, 2 inch tall or 190 point size font. At 32, 4 inch letters or 380 point size font. At 64 feet, 8 inch letters or 760 point size font. Design is the fourth area to focus on when creating promotional materials. Some people have the tendency to try to put as much information as possible onto signs, or others feel like they need to cover every blank space. Unfortunately, this makes it very difficult for someone to know where to focus their attention. Instead, you should design with a notion that less is more, with a focus to keep it clear and simple. Rule of thumb is to keep the number of words between three to five and use short statements. The goal is to create something that a person can read while moving. So again, less is more, symbols are even better than words, keep it clear and simple, three to five words and short statements are easy to, easier to read while moving, have consistent use of signage hierarchy, have a similar look and feel with all signage, and left justify the words. The final aspect to consider is where to place your signs or promotional materials. The decompression zone, or the runway effect, is the area when people are entering the building. It's good not to put any signs near the entryways as people don't tend to stop while they're entering a building. And people pay most attention to the center of a display. If you're posting something, put it in the middle. Eye tracking and body tracking indicate that Americans generally move to and attend to the right more than the left. So when placing a sign or, or promotional materials, if you have it on the right, they're more likely to see it. And finally, Place displays and signage in high traffic areas. Place the item where people have to look at it. After making these alterations, you're now ready to conduct a follow-up observation.